Happy New Year! Uh, welcome to another episode of the Dining Dojo, and uh, today I'm going to bring you a new beer. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is brought to you by Sapporo. Uh, this is their uh, this is one of their diet beers, or in Japanese it's called uh, a hapusho, and it's their black. Uh, it's their uh, it says on here mugi to hapu. It's basically wheat and uh, hops. And also has some barley in it. Uh, what makes uh, what makes this not a beer is that under Japanese law, a beer is only two things. It's always hops and always barley. But a hapusho can be with many other ingredients, such as cornstarch or soybeans or corn or a whole gambit of other ingredients. And if you, we look on the ingredients here, it says that it has uh, it has alcohol, and also it has spirits. So uh, so it has the hops. It has also the uh, uh, it has uh, it has hops. It has wheat, and it has another type of flour. So this is not a this is not a beer. This is uh, in Jap and this is would be a diet beer. <coughs> And the main difference between a diet beer and a beer uh, is taste, usually, and also price. Uh, for this can, this was only 141 yen. And if you would get a beer of the same size can, it would be about 220 yen, usually. So, uh, let's uh, pour this into a glass and let's see how it tastes. Okay, uh, as you can see, it has a, uh, it has a brown, uh, somewhat brown, uh, light brown, mocha khaki head. It's, uh, it's dissipating actually quite quickly, but it's actually, uh, yeah, it's dissipating quickly, and, uh, yeah, so, let's pour it a little bit more. An interesting thing about black beers, um, when we normally think of Japanese beers, we think of like a Kirin Ichiban, or an Asahi, or a Sapporo Black Star. But more and more recently, uh, black beers uh, black beers have been more and more popular now. Now, it says black on it. Most people would think of a Guinness, but a Guinness is a stout. Uh, a black beer, in this case, it's a beer, but... It's brewed for longer, so it, it's a it, so it has that darker taste. But for a lot of people, they prefer this. Uh, they prefer this type of beer. Uh, usually, uh, for a lot of Japanese people, uh, they find the Guinness a little bit too thick for their tastes. And Guinness is always more money. For a Canon Guinness, it's usually about what three hundred yen. So. So now there are more, uh, so more and more companies are trying different types of beers. So this is the Sapporo Black. And as you can see, the head is uh, still there. Um, it's quite amazing. So, hold on. I haven't had this beer sting for a long time. Okay, and that's the can. Okay, so as we can look, uh, this is a clearly a dark beer. There is, if I hold it up, there is no lights coming through this glass, none at all. So this is a black beer. Okay, so uh, let's give it. Uh, hold on, I, I will, I'm gonna take some of the head off. So. Okay, so, so uh, let's see how it smells. Hmm, 
smells like a it smells like a regular uh, diet beer. Uh, if you ever had these diet beers, uh, you, uh, if you if you ever had a diet beer, you know how these smell. Uh, and also with these diet beers, you can easily smell the alcohol. This uh, the alcohol on here is only five percent though, but as soon as soon as you smell it, you get the alcohol right away. Uh, I am uh, I'm getting some of the breadiness and uh, I'm getting the breadiness and uh, and the barley in this beer, but usually in the black beer you usually find like uh, notes of coffee you know, usually in stouts or porters. But in this one I'm getting nothing. I'm just getting alcohol and that breadiness. So it's quite interesting. So uh, so let's give it a taste. Okay. Turn around. Cheers. Wow, uh, when you uh, uh, um, when you taste the beer, uh, the first thing that you get is the is the alcohol burn, but it actually dissipates quite quickly. And then when it goes uh, further down onto your into your mouth, the other notes will come out more, such as the breadiness of the barley, and the and the unique somewhat taste of a black beer. Not so much of a Guinness; it's not that strong. Think of this as a lighter Guinness. I will say the taste is actually quite good. Uh, for usually these diet beers, um, the taste can be can be off-putting. Some of these beers can be really bad in taste, but this one I will say is actually quite nice. Uh, and I would actually, you know, if you're looking for a cheap beer, you know, a cheap beer meaning a diet beer, uh, I would say give this a uh, give this a try. Uh, so. This is uh this is the Dying Dojo signing out and cheers. Goodbye.